I am actually deaf after that. Ah, yeah. Don't worry, that's fine. I have plenty time. I'm going to the work tomorrow afternoon, so there is plenty time for me to edit the videos because I have a lot of editing to do. Recently I have been playing with this lighter. I picked it up when I was a young kid on some trip and it's from Kantai, it's not a Zippo if you're wondering that because even the texture is coming off. See? And every now and then like that's really satisfying click to play around. The other day and I open it, I did several tries and none of them worked. I have been watching some videos how to tear this down, how to actually attend to this. You might be familiar with the name pistol later. You can tear this down, completely clean it and then build it back again. And that's why I love it. It's not something you buy and then it suddenly go bad and you have to buy a completely new one. But yeah, I was able to tear it down and the knot inside is supposed to be very long. It's supposed to go in this S formation inside. And the cotton is supposed to be in between those S's. So when you will soak it up with the lighter fluid, it will soak up the knot eventually and it will spark the flame if you will throw the spark with the stone against the flint. But I was doing that repeatedly and nothing worked. And then I realized that the knot, after I tore it down, the knot is like almost six times shorter than the actual fuse is supposed to be. So I need to buy a new one. Yeah, but it's amazing. You can tear this completely down to its original parts and replace all of them. Maybe I'll actually get a certified Zippo because this Kantai, I don't know how many surprises it will throw me because it's not a bad overall. It has been working and you are just wasting your flint if you are throwing the sparks without succession of lightning the actual fuse. Well, the fall is right out of the door and I'm getting ready for it and it's finally acceptable temperature here in my humble studio so I can be wearing whatever I want, soda, and we can keep that creative flow going. Have you seen that little video I put up together? Because I had this idea of creating Witcher Eyes from the Netflix series and from my beloved game and I had this spark that I can do this in the After Effects. So I took my time procrastinating and then finally I did the thing. And if you are looking for it I could only post it on the Instagram because of the copyrighted music but if you're looking for that and if you're not following me on the Instagram already here is the handle and check me out there. I have been on this amazing trip with Dotty last weekend, I think it. We had such an amazing time that I thought we were there for a week and it was just one and a half day. We went there, slept in the mountains in the cottage, that was amazing. We had breakfast in the morning and then took a trip down so I was able to finally catch some photos because we were climbing the mountain to the cottage in the evening with the headlamps. The only thing you were able to see in front of you was with the headlamp. And there is actually a mating season for the deers and one was trying to attract the female just 30 meters from us somewhere in between the trees. But it was so pitch black that I was not even taking pictures. I took my camera and placed it in my backpack because I knew that even that 12,000 ISO won't be able to take any pictures. So I was like, maybe a picture with the headlamp facing somewhere. At no, I just shoved it in my backpack and keep walking so we could avoid any possible bears slipping onto the trail. 
we were standing there and Dolly was like, there is a deer. And I was like, yeah, can we go or you want to help him with that? But he really wanted to see him. So we were, you know, for a while standing, looking into the trees. They were really dense. That's why he was so close, I think. But we didn't see him. We just went on and get to the final point. <laughs> and Donnie suddenly said and faced his headlamp straight down and said, there is a bear. And I, for a second, I was shocked. I was frozen, staring into the place where he said that there is a bear. And I didn't realize there are carved trees into the shapes of bears. It's like attraction for local tourists. It's not that high. And that was that carved bear. In for a second, I was like terrified. He's so he said it so casually. There is a bear. I was like, have you ever met a bear? And he was facing with that lamp along the trail, maybe 15, 20 meters. And if there will be an actual bear standing and facing us, and that even that carved bear out of the tree is like standing on the back paws with the front paws to the front, like in the attack position. And when I saw that shadow, I was even more scared for a half a second. Then I realized that that shape is not moving and it looks like a carved statue out of a tree. And that called me down. But for that second, my heartbeat went to the skies. That was extremely horrific for that moment. And I was even wondering why is Dottie so calm about it? Then I realized that's just one of his silly jokes. But yeah, the trip has been amazing. I have ton of footage, ton of photos. I'm processing them right now. That was so extremely good without even leaving my own country. I have already given up on this possibility that I could experience this much of amazing time here, but I was wrong. I know I was wrong, it's all good now. That has been so amazing, I'm really glad for those one and a half days. I will remember that for a really long time, I can tell you that. Okay, so that's everything from me for today. I hope you are planning your next photo shoot already and remember, try to have fun. If you will stay with the simple terms to have fun, whatever you will be doing. Show your honest, naive, creative own to the world and everybody just will hop on board because everybody needs that some friend who is naive, creative and energetic because I'm the one. I'm always naive, I always think that things will go better just by themselves and then I figure that I need to push, I need to create that flow and afterwards the right people will join and you are together on board and you are sailing your little pirate ship through the seas and everybody's cheering when they see wet docks. So with these words, I will see you in the next video and in the meantime, stay creative. Come on, we've been over this. And I need to show you this little trick, opening with one hand. <sighs> yes. Huh? Oopsie daisy! You want a lighter? Or you want a lighter?